this is Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And once again on a project, I have enlisted volunteer help. Yeah. I don't know exactly how much help I'm going to get from this one, but she sure is cute. We are going to tackle this area in here now. This is the area I mentioned yesterday that gets a lot of shade. So we took and cut up all of the aeoniums that were leggy and overgrown in other areas of the garden, and we are going to do something amazing in here. I'm not exactly sure what yet, but you can find out with me. Okay, hmm, this area back here, what to do? We've got this, what? Well, what do you think? What? Do you have an opinion? What do you think? What should we do? Well, yeah, we could do that. What do you think? Any thoughts? Whatever I think? Well, you know, right. Well, with the window, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, really? Okay. Well, I guess the consensus is that we are not going to mound this area. We've got a drain right here, and you can see there's like a there's a natural down slopey progression right here. We need to be mindful of that. We don't want the water to pool. So. Hmm, yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll stage this pot, take this off, stage the pot right under the window, and then if we're going to do any kind of elevating, it should probably be in this area right here. That's sort of the way the natural topography is working right now. I still need to figure out the rock top dressings and the ribboning, but this is what I came up with. I had all of these aeonium cuttings to figure out what to do with. This is a very, very shady spot in the garden. So despite the fact that it's the middle of summer, I think that these flowers are going to do very well um, in about a year when they reroot and they start to grow. This is going to be an exceptionally stunning garden area. Notice, too, the art architectural elements in here. First, we started with the urn, and then we pulled in a large boulder. For a third weighted element, we've got this little flat rock. So we've got our one, two, three weighted elements with all of the soft stuff in between. I mirrored the circle pattern with this barrel cactus that I found around back and I pulled in some of the paddle plants from around the side of the garden. And yeah, again, once I get the top dressing in, I think this is gonna look great. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity reporting in Rancho Santa Fe with your succulent tip of the day.